Okay, Avis, tell us about your partnership with the Global Autism Project. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I met the Global Autism Project last year in, in April. Yeah. And so far we have had um, three, three uh, teams of volunteers come to, to, to support us. It's a very good partnership. We have, uh, they have really supported us in capacity building because though we were doing um, therapy in different departments, but we, had, we, we, we didn't know anything about APA. So with ABA, they have really empowered the staff. They have really supported us, and we're also looking forward to, to continue the partnership with Robotics Project. Yeah, we were just starting. Yeah, yeah. So you did have an opportunity to go to Global Summit last August in Bali, and what was that like for you to spend the week with all the partners and meet other? business owners around the world? Yeah, it was really, uh, it was, it's a very big chance for me to meet uh, different uh, partners of the group autism and also business owners that are doing the same kind of business that I'm doing. I thought some of the challenges that I had was just me. Maybe I was not a good, I was not good enough because I, had, I didn't know anything about autism. But meeting them, I realized we had the same challenges. We shared, uh, we, we shared among ourselves, and I realized I was not alone. And also, we shared experiences. When I returned back, like, I knew what to do. It's a great support network for people to just know that they're on the right track and they're doing the right thing and that they're not alone. Mm. And... And the challenges, uh, they, are, they are all the same in every country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And especially in this journey of autism, you find in most countries, they don't have skilled personnel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I thank Robo Autism for having that initiative of training uh, but their partners all over the world so that at least they can give out they, 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 can, they can really give out um, the service in a, a very professional way, yeah. Yeah, so you, you said that you had a few Skill Core teams visit your country. What was that experience like for you to have them at Silver Bells? Um, uh, it was a very big, um, good opportunity for us because uh, most of our parents had read about ABA and they, and they would tell us we also need ABA on board. But when I made the group of autism and they sent the skills corps team, they really inspired us, they really trained our, our staff. And in every department, we are practicing ABA in every department. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing more results. Oh, that's wonderful. So what part of Rwandan culture do you like to share with the teams when they visit? <laughs> it depends. Most of them have always uh, preferred going to, 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 the, to the parks. Like mm -hmm. all the teams so far have gone to Akajera Park and they would also go for, for local music, for traditional music. Mm, in some mm -hmm. hotels, they had fun to have dinner in different hotels around Kigali because normally they have local traditional dances in the evenings. And this time I would want them to, to visit the gorillas as well. Gorillas? And all, yes, I would want them to visit gorillas as well and also visit our beaches in mm -hmm. the western part of Rwanda. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hopefully I can come visit you guys again sometime. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching Autism Knows No Borders. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so let us know what you think in the comments section. Click here to watch this interview in its entirety.
You can also find us on your favorite podcast app. Tune in each week for engaging conversations of how people across the globe are inspiring change and building community. Thanks for watching. Take care.